you. Thank you. President Corgan, faculty, students, family members, and distinguished guests. I am honored to speak on behalf of all students today, especially since just a few years ago, I didn't have any plans to be in the United States and didn't even speak English. I was supposed to follow the script, uh, but I figured that it's in English and I don't understand half of it. So, every time I pause, it means I'm translating my Russian notes into English. I'm going to share with you one skill that I found very useful when I was looking for a job. It's kind of challenging to find a job when you don't speak a language. So what I did, uh, I was walking around this uh, diners around the area and I tried to get as many interviews as possible so I could memorize the typical questions that interviewers ask. And most of the time they were like the same. Where were you from? What did they do? How did they like it? But every once in a while, this interviewer was be becoming creative and they were asking questions that I've never heard of. And that was painful. So what I did, I was just pretending that I understood, saying like, Haha, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I was hoping that the next question that he asked, actually something that I know. I would later go to my friends and ask them, hey, what did he ask me just now? What, how should I respond? Well, eventually, it worked out, I got a job, and hopefully, you won't need these tactics. I got to San Francisco State. And it, it was a very fortunate moment for me. As a student at SF State, we all experienced great strength of this university. One of the great strengths of it is its commitment to diversity. This is a place where unique backgrounds and different personalities are celebrated rather than ostracized. Just walking across the campus, you can hear people speaking Spanish, Italian, French, whatever else language you've never heard about. Sometimes I even hear Russians. This is big place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is big place, but diversity really may, uh, allows us all feel at home. Another great strength of this university is the support that it provides to its students. As a freshman, I approached Finance Department Chair Alan John and I made the ridiculous request asking, asking him to help us to create Student Investment Conference and make it largest on the West Coast. Instead of dismissing me as naive, he immediately offered his help. And he also enlisted support of Nancy Hayes, who was Dean of College of Business at that time. Well, we've created the conference and it is the largest on the West Coast. And all happened because Dr. John and Dean Hayes believed in us. On behalf of us all, I would like to thank faculty who believed in us and became partners in our dreams. San Francisco State taught me many lessons that I'll take with me as I go through life. I've learned what leadership is. People always impress you when, they give you, when you give them tasks that they love to do and you support them while staying out of their way. I've learned what real teamwork is. It's not enough just to work together. Members of the group must share common goals and must be willing to sacrifice their own interests to achieve those goals. If you've ever been part of this team, you'll know how much you can achieve. It's unbelievable. I've learned these lessons from my fellow classmates and from fame members, and some of them are graduating with me today. It's Hannah, Nicole, Navjak, Vince, Bean, Ivan. I can't pronounce this name, I'm sorry. It's in English. Ma Marco and others. Some of them have graduated in the past, some will be graduated in the future. I want you guys to know how much impact you've made on my life. I owe you all my thanks. Give them a round of applause, please, and yourself too. <laughs> the 
There are 7,928 of us are graduating from San Francisco State University today. What that means is there are 7,928 unique stories to celebrate. 7,928 of us faced out obstacles to get here, but we got through. 7,928 of us watched, watched our tuition rise and almost, almost double for the last few years. But guess what? We found a way to pay! 7,928 of us faced challenging coursework and we prevailed. But most importantly, 7,928 of us showed up here as a diverse group of strangers and today we're graduating together as a class of 2012. Thank you very much and congratulations. Give us a round of Thank you, Mr. Midov, for giving voice to the hopes and aspirations of your classmates. And now, University Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Sue Rosser, will now present the Emeritus Faculty. It is appropriate that at commencement we acknowledge the contribution of those faculty who, like our student graduates, are leaving the university. These individuals have served with distinction and upon their retirement are being granted emeritus status. Mr. President, I am pleased to present them to you today. Will the faculty emeriti please rise as I call their names. Robert W. Cherney, Professor of History. V. V. Krishnan, Professor of Engineering. David B. Meredith, Professor of Mathematics. Amy A. Nichols, Associate Professor of Nursing. My friends and colleagues, it is with great pride and deep admiration that by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the title of Professor Emeritus or Emerita of San Francisco State University. May you find fulfillment in this next stage of your life, and remember that you will always be part of the San Francisco State family. And now the Vice President for University Advancement, Robert Nava, will now present the Alumnus of the Year. Thank you, President Corgan, class of 2012. Today, today you reach a major milestone and begin a new relationship with San Francisco State University. As proud alumni, you're joining a special group that includes more than 200,000 graduates and stretches around the world. Please remember, graduates, that wherever you go, you will always be part of this great university. It is now my pleasure to introduce our 2012 Alumnus of the Year, Jose Antonio Vargas. Mr. Vargas, would you please join me at the podium? Jose Vargas, just two days after you graduated from San Francisco State, you joined the staff of one of the nation's premier newspapers, the Washington Post. And just four years later, you earned your profession's highest honor, a Pulitzer Prize. You have excelled by combining first-rate reporting and writing with your experience and expertise in journalism's exploding 21st century, from social media 
as a member of the Washington Post team covering the fast-breaking story of the Virginia Tech shootings, you turn to Facebook to connect with student eyewitnesses, producing both news and feature articles for the Post-Virginia Tech series, the result, a Pulitzer Prize. You have reported on the connection between politics and the internet, covered the 2008 presidential campaign, and you've written groundbreaking series on AIDS 